So, the Owl House. You've probably heard a lot about it, right? You've probably heard that it's one of the best, if not the best, Disney Channel show made within the past few years too, right? Well, I'm here to rant about an aspect that I hated, and how it made me stop watching the show. So sit back, relax, and watch me get irrationally mad at a cartoon made for people at least five years younger than me. So I used to be a pretty big fan of The Owl House two to three years ago, whenever it premiered. And I was pretty hyped for the second season after the first one ended, so when the first batch of episodes from season 2 came out on Disney+, Plus, I was really excited and sat through and watched them all pretty quickly and continued to do so till episode 10. For context, up until this point, they were building up on the aspect of how someone from the world Luz is currently in went to Earth and started to pretend to be her, and it was built up to be kinda sinister, and I was waiting to see how this was gonna be paid off in a later episode. And so, when I was watching episode 10 and figured out that it was about this plot thread, I was pretty excited. And then the plot actually happened. I don't think I've ever been more disappointed with an episode of a show before or after this point, and let me tell you why. This is the worst way to pay off build-up and just straight-up bad storytelling, because it builds up to be pretty sinister. So you expect for it to be someone who's manipulating Luz's mom or something like that. But nope, it's just a creature that shapeshifts into Luz and lives as her because Luz has a happy, great life at home. That's it. Wanna know what this is like? This is like if in The Lion King, instead of lying to the pride and telling them that Simba killed Mufasa, or rather getting Simba to say, I killed Mufasa, and later telling Simba the truth as he's about to throw him off the ledge, he just says, I killed Mufasa because I wanted the throne. I'm sorry, and I'll give the throne to Simba now. And then he just walks away and the film ends. It's bad storytelling, bad writing, bad build-up, and bad payoff. If you want to keep the plot of the episode and make it overall good, and also good in isolation, remove all the build-up as the build-up straight up ruins the episode and what to expect for the episode. Another option is to completely rewrite the episode to go along with the build-up done beforehand, as it makes the overall package a lot better. The way that entire thing was executed was bad, and it flat out made me stop watching the show. And that's about all I have to say about that, really. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more. Also, you don't have to, but I would really appreciate it if you donated to my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Okay, so I normally don't do this, but this is a little unscripted part for the end of the video as the outro plays, and I just wanted to say that this isn't going to be a one-off video. I have a lot more things to say about the series in general. So, yeah, be prepared for another video coming up who knows when. Um, I have a lot of things to say about the series as a whole, really, and this episode made me realize that maybe I need to go back and watch the series, but there are some other things I want to talk about first, and yeah, this is just me saying, hey, there's gonna be a follow-up to this video, and this, I don't know, this show is a lot for me because there's some aspects I love and some aspects I hate and I'm just not sure how to feel about it really. But thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.